Hello everybody, it's the Horror Fan Man. I've um, got a bit of spare time today, have to work on Sunday. Got the house to myself. Um, no real pickups to talk about, so I thought I'd um, do something I haven't done for a couple of years. And that's an Arrow video, complete overview. Uh, I'm going to do it in parts, so I thought I'd probably start with the box sets first, see how we get on. So, get straight to it. Right. First up, the American Horror Project, something that um, Arrow have been saying that they're going to do another part of, well, Volume 2 for ages, but still never got round to it. This one's got um, Malatesta's Carnival of Blood, which was okay, The Witch Who Came From The Sea, which was brilliant, and The Premonition, which was quite boring. So I was looking forward to a part two, because I thought, you know, hopefully they'll go for more lesser-known slashes or something like that, rather than these, like, um strange choices there which is probably why it didn't sell as well but everyone seems to want a part two including me this is um battle royale this is the survival program this is the big beast it's got them theatrical directors cut special features booklets and comics and postcards as you can see there it's got loads of shit in it this is really good really good set and it was available for quite a long time as well and i got this in the sale quite cheap so, chuffed with that. Next up is the brilliant Battles of Our Honour and Humanity. I love this set. All the films there. Volume 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And the complete saga. And the big Yakuza Papers book as well. So I did really enjoy that. As well as New Battles of Our Honour and Humanity. The complete trilogy. It's another great set there with them two there, got three films in it, really cool films that I wish they made more of, really good set as well, cool artwork, and we've got one of the double film sets here, the Black Cats, it's got Black Cat and Your Vice is a Locked Room and Only I Have the Key, which is a strange name, really cool, really cool set, nice work there as well, artwork, and then this one which, yeah, Pretty, pretty shit set really 40 odd quid and there's always vanilla was crap um, Season of the Witch was just, just fucking weird and the crazies which I do love so yeah not the best set not George's best work by a long way and then we've got um, Bloodbath which is a strange film four different versions of a film my favourite was the first one Operation Titan which wasn't even a horror more like a heisty sort of movie. Yeah, it's okay. Then we have a brilliant carry, which is one of the some uh, box sets, just with the um, film and the book. But you know, loads of stuff. Yeah, it's a 4K restoration. But why don't they just do some UHD 4K releases as well? You know, do them limited edition because you know it's not a massive call for them, but people that have got the setup wouldn't mind it and city of the living dead which i still haven't seen but it's another 4k scan but yeah had a lot of mixed stuff about this some people saying it's really grainy and bitty and the original releases were better but arrow said they've kept the look of the originals which is why it's still in it but like i say i'm still to see it and i've got the american release of creep show 2 this sold out pretty quick. I wish I'd got the Canadian one, which is a more purpley cover. Good film. Not as good as the original, though. I think most people agree that. And then we've got this one here, Death Walks Twice. It's got Death Walks on High Heels, Death Walks at Midnight, and a book. These are really fun films. I really did like these. Then the re-release of Deep Red. Another classic film. A really, really nice set. Cool artwork as well. And then this one, The Toad's King. Still actually to watch this, but I hear it's really strange. It's a free disc set. It's got the um, soundtrack and Blu-ray and the DVD. Yeah, strange fucking artwork. And then the one that people, some people were a bit gripey about because it was such a newer release. But brilliant Donnie Darko set there with the theatrical cut, director's cut. Look at that, brilliant. Bloody amazing film. It's 
bit of a head fuck. But I've always loved it. And the brilliant female prisoner scorpion, the complete collection. This has got all the films there. Really cool film. Do you like them? Really enjoyed every one of them. And then the monster set that is um, Scarlet Box, Hellraiser 1, 2 and 3. Signed by Doug Bradley there. There's a lot of people at Horicon getting his signature on this set. But, you know, classic films. Part 1's amazing. Part 2's good. Part 3's just fun. Then got the um, the House Complete Collection. Four films. House I really loved. House 2 was fun. House 3 is a good slasher film. House 4 is just shit. But yeah. remember watching the first two House films at the cinema back in the day. Loved them. And I've also, for good measure, got the House 2 stories. Got this off eBay quite cheap. Box is in perfect condition as well. So I like the different artwork on that. Another double set here, The Killer Dames. It's got um, The Night Evening Come Out of the Grave, The Red Queen Kills Seven Times. Good film. Sybil Danning is very young in this film. Well, the first film. No, maybe the second, I don't know. Then The Necromantic, really fucked up film that was banned here for quite a while. I've got it on DVD. It's a really nice set. And yeah, it's The Necromantic 2 as well. This cost me quite a bit of money. When I bought it, but now I've got a nice uncut Blu ray. Another Outworld Gangster VIP complete collection. You know, I do like my um, Japanese gangster films, cop films. They do know how to make them there. There's the um, Phantasm box set there. Really nice. Like I say, um, nice outside box. Uh, I think the sphere is really cheap, cheap plastic, which is a Bit of a letdown, uh, and the um, I didn't like the the shitty little boxes they were in as well, like um little cardboard slip slip cover things, and all the covers and pictures were the same on them, which is a bit of lack of imagination. You know, there's a phenomena. It's the re-release of that one. Really cool set as well for a good film. It's not one of her gentle's favourites for me, and the brilliant pieces. Which I absolutely love this film. So glad it got such a stellar release from Arrow. And then the American release of Reanimator, signed by um, Barbara Crampton and <laughs> Jeffrey Combs as well, who I was so happy to meet both of them. And signed such a brilliant set. There's a lot of people getting that signed there at Horicon. There's the second one, Bride of Reanimator. Good film as well. Not as good as the first one, but better than the third. But I do wish they could get Beyond Reanimator complete the set. And there's the um, Six Gothic Tales, which took me quite a while to get all of these films. Quite a lot of films there. And then we've got the um, Seiju and Suzuki Early Years Volume 1, Youth Movies. And Volume 2. Still got the um, HMV sticker on it was in York and then shock treatment which I found really fun and believe it or not I know it's sort of a loose follow-up to Rocky Horror but I've never seen the Rocky Horror picture show but the actual packaging on this was terrible look at it really cheap and flimsy very disappointed and I ordered this one it's got Jessica Harper on the front and the pink one sold out <laughs> uh, typical and down here got the brilliant society Brian using the film. Loved this when I first seen it on VHS back in the day. Nice, brilliant embossed package in there. This is a collectible one. And then the um, Stray Cat Rock. It's got them films there. Still to watch these as well. Two, only 2,000 copies. I got this for Horicon as well. A few years back. And there's the um, re-release of The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Nice set as well. Another one that's been done in 4K, but not released in 4K. Same as Cat and Eye Tales. I like that artwork, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I do like these Argento films getting re-released. Personally, I wish they'd do Inferno. It's one of my favourite Argento films for me. Not many people's, but I love it. And we've got the um, complete Dr. Fibes there. Two average films. Wasn't that impressed. Especially the second one. Then we have... The complete Sartana. 
all these films out. Fun spaghetti westerns out. And the brilliant Hills of Eyes, the original. Love this film. Met Dee Wallace at Horicon. Lovely lady. Really nice, chatty. And you know, I was standing there thinking, fuck me, I've met Elliot's mum from E.T. Brilliant day. Um, Last House on the Left. Another cool film. This is the ultimate edition of it to me. So if anyone's going to get it, get this. Fully uncut. Three different versions of the films as well. And the brilliant Long Good Friday and Mona Lisa. Two great Bob Hoskin films from the 80s. Anyone that gangster films has never seen the Long Good Friday, watch it. Bob Hoskins is fucking amazing in it. And there's a young Piers Brosnan in it as well. It's first role. And then the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. This is one was available for quite a while as well. Yeah, really good. I actually forgot to take this to Horrorcom where Bill Mosley was. So I was very lucky that they were selling it at their Arrow Video had a stall. So we signed it there. But he's still a miserable cunt, he was. Didn't take to him at all. And then the limited edition of The Thing. Didn't really say much about that. Fucking amazing film. And then video drum as well. Another brilliant Cronenberg film. Bit of a head fuck, but what a great film. It's also got them the early works there as well. So yeah, that's a really sought after set as well. And then lastly, I've got this here. Oh fucking out. <laughs> Which is um this set here. Brilliant pieces this is the one you had to go online and get and yep still sealed luckily it's not fucking broken <laughs> and then lastly uh, it's got this beast here Herschel Gordon Lewis feast this is the um, small set believe it or not that's absolutely huge there's the different volumes there uh, back there it's more like the cereal packet but heaviest cereal packet you'll ever see I didn't get that absolutely massive Bigger version of it. My good friend, the Wicker Boy, Dean, he got that one. I didn't have the money at the time, so I had to pass on it and pick that one up. Yeah, so that's it. That's all my stuff there. Also got the, um, the vinyl. The vinyl is actually in that there. Yeah, and if anybody wants, um, you send them the Babadook slipcover because I sold some stuff to CEX and I thought, fuck it. They're not getting um, all the fucking slip covers because they give you fuck all for them. We've also got Stonehurst Asylum and Crimson Peak. So if anybody wants them, I'll send them to you. Let me know. Yeah, so um, thanks for watching. Thankfully, I didn't fucking damage this. Did I? Nah, it's all right. Yeah, so that's all my um, box sets. Just something I thought I'd do just to um, keep my videos coming a bit. Thanks to all my new subscribers. Thanks to everyone who keeps um, commenting on my videos. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, next one I might do is um, my steel books there. Then probably do my window boxes and slipcover editions. Then my DVDs, arrow drums, and then all my other stuff there. Normal Amory. Yeah, so um, thanks for watching. Hope everyone's doing okay. Don't forget, everybody. Keep it horror.